Welcome to another episode of the marathon and the wrap up in my summer diaries series. Not to say I won't vlog again this summer, but I thought four was like a nice number. We are currently on a little BC road trip. Husband's washing the car, which is what you can hear right now. That's like the sound of love to me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> if I could, I would wash my car like once a week. Look at it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we are in a little town in BC called Creston. It's like southeast British Columbia. And here for the weekend. So I thought I would show you a little bit of a different area of the province as I know so many people love to just see like the scenery and I love that too. Like I, I love watching different areas of the world, different areas of the country, etc. So while he washes the car, I will show you what we saw yesterday. Today we're gonna do a little shopping and then we're gonna go find some beaches. Just have a nice chill family weekend. Any thumbs up? You good? You watching him wash the car? You're ready to go? Okay. Here is what we saw yesterday.
have shown this before when we've been away, but I thought I would just show it again today in case you haven't seen it. This is a hack that the husband taught me when we're away. I'll go to the grocery store and get sandwich stuff because it's virtually impossible for me to find anything like fast food-ish when we're out because I don't eat meat. So like got a couple of fresh buns from the grocery store, some vegan meat, which I probably haven't had something like this in like over a year, but it's just good to get in a pinch. Some hummus, some baby carrots. This was on sale. This is a really, actually a really good hack for road trips because you could literally make this in the bag and eat it. And most grocery stores in their deli section will have forks that you can take. So you can just mix it in the bag and eat it in the car. Some mayo, some mustard, etc. And then we did go to McDonald's for Thomas, so I had to get myself the Elite Fountain Pop. Why does Fountain Pop taste better? I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why. I don't make the rules. So I'll probably take some of this salad and put it on the bun with the cheese, with the uh, meat, a little bit of hummus, and then we're good to go. And I'm making a second sandwich at the same time for the drive home tomorrow. Two. together. What color would you like to start with? <laughs> what color do you want to start with? Sure. Tell me. What color is this? So you could either play a two or green. Which one? Yellow? Mm. No. Okay, another one. No. Another one. Uh oh. No. Oh. <laughs> another one. I really want Thomas to win. Sorry. Is that yellow? Yes. Yep. Boom. Yellow. What color? What color is that? So we hope they don't play this color. Pink. Go for it. Pink. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, I showed the card to the audience before, <laughs> hoping it was not. So then we can play pink, right? Want to play another pink? <laughs> Is that fun? Oh, 
the prince. <laughs> And now we're home, <laughs> bit of a jump. Uh, I made a very nice breakfast this morning, which I filmed. I don't know if this is my age, but there is something about coming home and being able to cook. Like I, I don't know, I don't know if it's because I don't eat meat, I don't know what it is, but I love being able to come home and make a nice breakfast. So we've got greens, cilantro, avocado, Toast with two just eggs mm -mm -mm. and coffee, obviously. It's a holiday Monday, so we're taking things slow. Although it's already, <laughs> I should say already, it's only 7 a.m. I know you can probably hear my air conditioning, and it's summer. We have air con. Actually, we have Chef's Kiss air con. This year, we took advantage. There was rebates. I think they actually brought them back if you live in BC and we got a new air conditioner furnace and hot water tank for basically the price that it would have cost to just replace the air con which was on its way out the last time i got it serviced last year because it kept tripping my breakers the tech said they don't even make these anymore whatever it was filled with i don't even think is legal or at least they can't fix it so we knew that was coming so when we got the furnace serviced in the fall anyway they told us about the rebate and that's what happened that's that's adulting that is information you didn't need to know and now you do we're here we're back it was so nice to get away i refuse to travel on long weekends i there's just so many accidents and the August long weekend in BC, I'm pretty sure is the deadliest weekend of the year. So we traveled there on the Thursday and then back on the Sunday. And that to me is perfection. Also, when we left, we left at 5.30 in the morning cause we were up and we were like, you know what? Let's beat the heat, let's beat the traffic. You know what we did not beat? The bugs driving home it sounded like it was hailing with bugs to the point where i used i thought i was gonna run out of windshield fluid <laughs> for the first two hours until my headlights shut off we stopped at about eight o'clock to get coffee the front of the car covered couldn't even see the license plate which is white covered in bugs like moths to a flame, like bees to the front of a car. It was disgusting. Wasps immediately like mm, delicious breakfast. So got coffee, got back in the car. Before we even came home, I drove directly to a car wash and gave it a little, it was disgusting. Anyway, that's why there's no footage from that day because it was just peppering with bugs. But we're home and I thought I would do a little outro wrap up sit down hi hello it's been i would say july was good and i wanted to share sort of what worked for me i know at the beginning of this summer diaries i shared that i was getting that notebook and i was getting that calendar and i was all like ready excited rah rah so i thought i would give you an update i have used that notebook every single day and it has been so helpful to keep me on some sort of sanity routine I guess what I do every morning is I just write the date and then I write down everything that I want to do that day down to 
like read fiction, read nonfiction, water the flowers, because or else I would never remember. Side note, I've never kept outdoor flowers alive, ever, in any summer. I've lived in this house, we bought it in 2008. Never have I ever kept flowers alive. This year I was hell bent on it, and they are thriving. Who is she? It's because I've been writing water flowers on my to-do list every single day. That's the only reason. So I write out everything I want to do and it's, for me, it helps take the mental load off because it's in front of me so I don't have to constantly be like running through what needs to get done today. Make Thomas's lunch to go pack his bag for whatever he's going to that day do the laundry, send a birthday text message, like it's just on there. Because summer is just like, what day is it? What's my name? What's the time? What What's happening? No idea. So I have spoken to a lot of friends and clients and people just in general and been seeing it on social media that, you know, a lot of people find summer just kind of, I call it like rudderless, like don't really know what direction to go, don't really know again what day, what time, who am I? And I find having some sort of routine such a game changer. So whether it's Thomas and I going for a walk in the morning before it gets too hot, or keeping his bedtime routine like to a T, we have to do that anyways for his meds, but even I noticed like giving him screen time later in the day affected his sleep. Like so trying to keep things as routine based as possible with the caveat being grace and if you need to schedule it in, rest. Like I really would encourage you to not get caught up in the false photo reel on the internet of people having these like magical mystical summers because what else is happening behind those 10 photos or what else is happening behind that perfect reel that they've posted you truly never know what anyone is going through and you truly never know like what it took to get that shot and just focus on what's best for you and what's best for your kids if you have them or your partner if you have one or just you in general. Like what do you need today? What would make today nice for you? And if it's sitting in the air con, laying on the couch, reading your book, I'm probably doing it at the exact same time you are. Like there's this notion that, oh, it's nice out, I have to be outside. No, I don't. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. You don't have to go outside. You don't have to sweat out in the midday heat. You know, like I've been taking Thomas to the beach after dinner and we go for like maybe 20 minutes and that's what's best for him. So therefore that's what's best for me. This redhead, she does not go in the sun. She does not. I mean, no one's surprised. This is tanned for me. This is freckled. That's it. And that's okay. If you like to be in the sun in the middle of the day, great. If you don't like to be, great. Like, there's a reason why the overarching theme of the marathon is you do you. Just do whatever is best for you, for your family. And this is me giving you that permission. July for me, so getting back to, you know, what I was going to tell you. <laughs> Tangent, tangent. July for me, that notebook has helped immensely because it's given me some sort of routine. It's given me some sort of purpose. It's also helped in like, what are we gonna do today? Let's make some notes. Like yesterday, taught Thomas how to pump some gas and got him to like help cut up some fruit. That simple of stuff really has helped us this month and this summer so far. Also, I have never rested so much purposefully than I did in July. And I gave myself at the beginning of the month a challenge to journal 10 times in July. I think I did about 13 or 14 times, which really helped my mental state. And also I meditated a lot. I got back on Headspace. I was such a Headspace like diligent user, especially when I first became a widow, I was meditating every single day with Andy and I, whew, so helpful. And I 
Once I started using Peloton, I was like, well, I'll just use these meditations because they're included. But I went back to Headspace in July and I have really noticed a difference. If you use the app, I loved the acceptance 10 like theme pack or whatever. Um, I'm currently doing the 30 day like handling stress and really enjoying that as well. And if you ever want to try Headspace, anyone who buys the app and uses it can gift, I think it's like a 30 day trial. Um, if I can figure it out, I can all just put the link down below in case you want to try it. Also, I think I'm going to do a whole video on how I have kind of gotten back to myself in July because if you have been following along, <laughs> I say that like I've been posting a lot of videos and there's been so much content. I know there has not been this year. From 40, when I turned 40 last summer, to 41, which I turned last week, so much life happened and it honestly like kicked my ass, knocked me to the floor. We were in survival mode, totally unexpectedly for a myriad of reasons. And I think I needed, well I know I needed a reset, but in the most gentle, self-compassionate, restful, grounding way. So I think I'm, that will be my next video, like talking about what helped me. Um, so let me know if you have any questions about that, but I think that's what I'm gonna do next. So to wrap up this Summer Diaries series, I hope you enjoyed it. I really wanted to do more in this video of like B-roll with some driving and just some more scenery. It was so nice to get out of town, even just for a couple of nights. It was something I think that the three of us really needed and Thomas is such a traveler. If he could pick a hobby, I think his hobby would be travel. So that was really fun to show him a new area of the province and just have a little getaway for the three of us. Um, let me know how you are. How's your summer? How are you keeping your sanity this summer? And if you're not, you're not alone. Remember, I'm always here for you. And life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. We got this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.